Hello everyone, we will continue the topic enhancements and modifications and in the previous videos we started with the implementation of a user exit and in the previous video we understood that whenever we are creating a sales order how the data is in the X and Y. X means new data, Y means old data. Whenever we are creating at that time, old data is blank. And whenever we are creating, the value of update indicator is I. I. Now, what we will do, we will proceed with the change part and you will get more more understanding and again extremely important video. So what I will do, I will simply change the sales order which we created. I will go for change. So I will go for now change this sales order. So this is the order quantity 100 and 200. Suppose we are changing the quantity. Suppose I am changing the quantity to suppose I will say from 100, I will make it as 80 and from 200, suppose I will make it as 120. I will change the quantity of these two line items. Suppose I am changing it to 80 and I am changing it to 100. Now we are changing the item data. Suppose I will change the header data also. So I will go to header data. I will just firstly confirm the quantity. Suppose I am changing the currency from Euro to INR. So we change the header data also. We change the item data also. Now we will go for save. An extremely important understanding will be there. We'll go for desktop 3. I will show you same to same thing again. XVBAK, YVBAK. Similarly, I will show you XVBAP and I will show you YVBAP. Now, XVBAK has the new data of the sales order, new header data of the sales order. YVBAK has the old header data of the sales order. XVBAP, new item data of the sales order. YVBAP has old item data of the sales order. Now you will get more and more understanding. But the new currency we put, we put the new currency as INR. Have you seen in XVBAK, we have the new data. Our new currency is INR. If I will show you YVBAK, you can see what was the old currency. Old currency was Euro. So now topic is making more and more sense how the old and new is there. When we created the sales order, at that time, old was completely blank. Whenever you are changing at that time, yes, how old is and how new is. Now, suppose I will show you the XVBAP and YVBAP. Now, I will open XVBAP. Just see, previously the indicator was I because you inserted a new record. Now you can see what is the indicator. Indicator is U. We updated the order quantity. If I will show you the new quantity because XVBAP has the new order quantity. If I will show you the order quantity, just see. We change the quantity to 80 and 100. This is our new order quantity. If I will show you YVBAP, we will find the old values of the order quantity. If I will show you YVBAP, same to same two rows were there, but now the order quantity will change. Now order quantity is the old order quantity. Our old order quantity was 100 and 200. 
and these this is extremely important concept yes we will use all these things whenever we will write the logic x means new and y means old suppose if i will just simply execute so header and item data changed header and item data change when this header and item data change yes it will reflect into vbak and vbap tables if i will show you vbak and vbap tables now we have the new header data and new item data there if i will show you vbak table i will go to the contents and i will put the sales order this is the sales order if i will execute now you can see currency changed to inr now now we have the new currency in that table if i will show you vbap table we will get the new order quantity there i will go for display now if i will put same to same sales order there also i will execute you can see okay i'll choose the quant quantity column settings formal list choose fields vbeln postnar matena and i will go for order quantity now you can see we have the new order quantity in the table 80 and 100 so why we are discussing both the scenarios because in va01 and va02 both in both the cases the order quantity cannot be less than 100 so we are discussing both the cases so we discussed insert case we discussed update case now we need to discuss delete case also yes it might be the case that customer is deleting the line items from the sales order customer is deleting the line items from the sales order if customer is deleting the line items from the sales order at that time there is no need to check that order quantity is less than 100 or not just simple if you are inserting yes at that time order quantity should not be less than 100 whenever we are updating yes order quantity should not be less than 100 if we are deleting from the sales order if we are deleting from the sales order at that time why we should check for order quantity because you are removing the line items so in that case we will not check the logic so we will only only check if the value of update indicator is i or u because if we are deleting a line item why we should check for the order quantity because we are removing simply now i will show you in debugging mode also whenever we are deleting a particular line item and you will understand the update indicator will be d at at that point of time suppose i am update up i am deleting the second line item i am deleting now i will go for say now we will go for x v b a p and y v b a p and i show you suppose i am showing you x v b a p have you seen if i will go for the second line item what is the indicator for the second line item the indicator in the second line item is d whenever i am deleting what is the order quantity of the column just see sap put the order quantity of the column as 0 0 because you are deleting a row itself so whenever we will delete we will not check for the order quantity at that point of time and similarly you can check the old data if i will show you the old data why vb ap you can see in the old data in the old data we have the second line item and what is the old data what was the old quantity of that line item it is 100 so new quantity is zero because we are deleting that particular line item 
and what was the old quantity of that line item 100. So now we studied all the three scenarios. What was those three scenarios that whenever we are creating a sales order, whenever we are creating a sales order, we have the new data, old data is completely blank. Whenever you are changing a sales order at that time, old data is in Y, new data is in X. Whenever we in whenever we are going for creating a sales order at that time, update indicator is I. Whenever you are changing or deleting at that time, update indicator change from if it is update case, it is you. If it is delete case, it is D. Now we need to write the code because we did the full, full understanding. What is our requirement? That order quantity cannot be less than 100 whenever we are creating or changing a sales order. And delete case should never, never be considered in case of delete we will never, never check for the order quantity. If it is delete, we will simply, simply skip that part. So how we will proceed with the logic part? We all know that data, new data is always coming into XVBAP. Yes, our new item data is always, always into this XVBAP. Our new data is always into this XVBAP. And we will check in XVBAP the update indicator. We will not consider if it is D. We will only, only consider the update indicator should be I or U. And we will check if any of the line item has delivery order quantity less than 100 we will simply simply give a message to the user just see why we have done all these understanding because writing the logic is not important how to write the logic is extremely important so we'll simply simply put a loop onto this internal table and we will only consider the cases where update indicator is I or U because in case of D, we should not consider the order quantity. Anyways, in that case, order quantity is getting zero. And we will see if the order quantity is less than 100, we will simply, simply give a message to the user. Now, in the next video, we will start with the logic part. We will write the logic into this particular user exit into this particular user exit so that's it in this video thank you